tonight. The communities of Sullivan, Indiana and Robinson, Illinois, devastated by tornado damage after Friday night storms. The deadly tornado captured on this video footage submitted by viewer Elizabeth Skaggs in Crawford County, Illinois. The tornado hit the community of Robinson before continuing across the Wabash River and into Indiana, where it then hit Sullivan County. The tornado caused destruction to the south side of the city of Sullivan. And today, the mayor of Sullivan is describing the aftermath as being like a war zone. At least three people in Sullivan County were killed and at least more than a dozen others injured. The governor was on the ground in Sullivan just a few hours ago to assess the damage left behind. Meanwhile, in the Robinson area in Crawford County, Illinois, three people have died and at least eight others injured in that community. Some homes, the Crawford County Airport and Lincoln Trail College's Chris Center all destroyed. Well, we do have team coverage tonight. Our crews have been in Sullivan and in the Robinson area all day long. So we begin with Jen Thompson, who is live in Sullivan County. Jen. I'm in a neighborhood, Dana, that I frequent often, taking my daughter to dance class, my boys to their soccer and football games in a neighborhood in the city of Sullivan that is unrecognizable. 200 families are displaced from their homes after last night's devastating tornado that created mass destruction through the city of Sullivan. Of those 200 households, 155 of those homes are located within the city of Sullivan, a city of around 4,000. Brandon Dow, a homeowner on South Court Street, recalls the storm. And all of a sudden, the wind just picked up okay. real bad. And then all of a sudden, I seen... I heard the uh, tornado siren go off and then all of a sudden debris just started flying. The front window blew out and I just dropped to the floor and crawled under my bed and, and then that's when the tornado hit. I was able to walk the, the neighborhoods a while ago and it's, it's devastating, right? I mean, it just absolutely breaks your heart. Mayor Lamb says this is an ongoing search and rescue event. Professionally trained urban search and rescue out of Evansville has led searches in several areas where they are needed. Lamb confirmed that residents were still being pulled from the rubble as of this morning. We are preparing for a long-term recovery, uh, and we, we expect the state agencies not just to help us today, but continue to partner with us. Sullivan County Community Hospital confirms that they have treated 16 patients for injuries due to the tornado. State Representative Bruce Borders toured the destruction. For those that were impacted by the direct hit of the tornado, it's going to be a, a long-term recovery for them, and they're going to need a lot of help and a lot of love in the meantime. A curfew will be in place beginning at 7 p.m. for the affected area until 7 a.m. Sunday. If you have yet to be in touch with a loved one or need assistance, Sullivan in as assistance with housing, Sullivan residents are encouraged to stop by City Hall. Mike and Dana, 